Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and I'm talking with Sanjay Mewada, Chief Strategy Officer at Netcracker. Sanjay, thanks for talking to us. My pleasure, Martin. Good to see you again. Good to see you indeed. Start with this. So you're Chief Strategy Officer at Netcracker. You focus a lot on cybersecurity. Let's begin there. So from a data and a cybersecurity perspective, what has changed in the digital age? A number of things have changed. Broadly speaking, you can categorize them into three things. The geopolitical environment, the regulatory, and specifically for our technology, the move towards virtualization and cloud. Mm -hmm. So if you start at the macro level, the geopolitical environment, effectively there are two narratives there. Uh, the first one is, you know, the liberal democracies, they see information as something that needs to be protected. Information integrity that needs to be ensured. And opposing that are regimes that say, that look at information, data security, cyber space as something that is governable and sovereign, something that is controllable, something that can be used uh, as a political uh, environment. And so these two competing narratives effectively feed into the second one, the second major uh, important area, which is regulation. So you have GDPR, for example, here in Europe and uh, in UK, uh, in response to um, just the nature of data security, this the nature of how data is flowing freely, and to make sure that the privacy concerns and informed consent, and all of those are taken into consideration when you are accessing um, lots, of, lots of data of both individuals as well as entities uh, and groups. And the last one, which is the third most important one for our industry, is as we move towards, uh, as an industry, we move towards virtualization, we move towards cloud operations, we move towards a very digital way um, of working with our customers, with the end users, whether it's B2B or B2C, it raises tremendous new challenges around data privacy, data security, uh, and management of all of that data in a safe, secure way. Okay, second question, Sanjay. What impact will the new network and IT technologies have on data and cybersecurity? The impacts are diverse and extensive. So if you start at the network um, layer or the network side first, as the networks virtualize, as they move towards 5G, as they start layering applications like IoT and M2M on this very low latency, high capacity 5G network or virtualized network, you will see the touch points explode, going from millions to billions to potentially trillions of touch points with IoT and M2M. And that creates a flood of data that needs to be managed, protected, and secured. As you move the intelligence to the edge, that means all the access, processing, information, and data gets done at the edge of the network. And that edge can be, depending on the application at various points, that creates challenges around managing that data at the edge in a safe, secure manner. You move to IT. IT operations, IT applications move into the cloud. If it is private cloud, it's much more manageable and potentially much more secure you move into a multi-cloud environment. Now your customer data, your service data, your network data, all of that sensitive data now resides in multiple places because it's a multi-cloud environment. And you have to protect against that. And so the challenges are manifest, but they are all manageable. They are well understood, but it requires a fundamental rethink of how you manage and secure data, how you manage and secure the right processes, and how you manage and change the organization to be able to address that. So then, question three. What are the key things that CSP should bear in mind and keep in mind all the time around the area of data security? So it's a long list. <laughs> Thought it might be. It is a long list, but you can certainly prioritize a few things. Mm -hmm. let's, cover, let's cover some of them. First one, uh, as I said, in the world of 5G, in the world of IoT and M2M, you're going to have so many touch points, so many endpoints. Step one, secure the endpoints. Because if you are able to do that, then you are able to control and manage the data in a safe, secure way across this multiplicity of these touch points. Number two, manage the partner ecosystem in the right way. Because as you create new services through these partnerships, 
that data around your customers, billing data, customer data, usage data, location data, service data, all of that will get distributed and invoked by partners as necessary for various sets of services. So managing that partner ecosystem in a safe, secure way, to have the right processes in place, to have the right safeguards in place, to be able to allow the right level of access, the right level of control, the right level of storage, and the right level of presentation of the data to that broader partner system, partner ecosystems becomes critical. Number three, fine tune the processes. Old processes around security don't necessarily work or apply in this new environment. Number four, as you go into multi-cloud environment, cloud security and cloud operations with embedded security becomes critical. And so to emphasize that part um, is very, very important. And lastly, you have to change the organization to be able to do this well. Typically, today, for example, you will have a siloed security organization within most service providers. Changing that paradigm to have embedded security experts in all aspects of operations, whether it's the network side, whether it's the IT side, whether it's the business side, whether it's the operation side, is the right way to go. Because then you have embedded security people, personnel, qualified people, who within those environments look at every step, look at every process, look at all aspects of the architecture and say, yes, this is the right way, or this is not the right way, or this is the secure way to do it as opposed to the traditional way of having a siloed, standalone security organization. It's not that that's not effective, but in this digital age where all of these organizations will have to move very quickly to meet the customer needs, to meet the competitive needs, to meet the regulatory needs, it makes sense to have an embedded security um, organization within and very much the part and parcel of various functions within a CSP. So those are some of the things that are you can say the low-hanging fruit are probably the most important, but as I said, it's a long list. Fascinating as usual, Sanjay Mewada, thank you very much indeed. My pleasure.